Hello! Uh, I'm Digital Duck, and you're watching Obscura Font, and I'm running Road to Grain Donk. Uh, there's not really that much to talk about while we're in the game, so I am just going to get started pretty quickly. Uh, I need to actually load the game. We've been sitting. We're going to start a new game. The time of will start when I actually press this yes button. So that'll be in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. So, uh, Road to Grand Dong is an indie game developed by Just Add Oil. Uh, it was officially published in 2020, but it was uh, kind of in production before that. It's quite hard to describe it. It's kind of a, uh, a road trip simulator with a lot of visual novel, novel elements. So, as a result, you're going to probably hear me mashing a lot of buttons uh, because that's how we do this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we are filling this car's oil and petrol. I'll explain what this car is doing in a second. I can't, that's the oil filter. That's not where you fill it. There you are, there we go. So we're going to fill it with oil, and then we're going to fill it with petrol. And that's going to cost us an awful lot of money today. Um, so basically what's happened is Sandy, who is the character we play as, has inherited the family restaurant from, I think it's her grandma, uh, who has passed away. And uh, we, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to, to, to go and sort out what's going on with the with the restaurant. So we, we, we would drive there, but there's a me mechanic in this game. He's a, a literal mechanic, there he is. And uh, if you've ever broken down, for whatever reason, you can call for help, and he will come and tow you to the next garage. And in this, this early part of the game, which is a tutorial, he will actually tow you to your destination. But we need to uh, go through a lot of dialogue here, because... This is where we where we find out that we've we've inherited the family restaurant. And we're basically going to throw a big reunion dinner to get the family back together again. So we have a long chat with Guma or Grace. So you, the characters will refer to each other by what are their uh, their relations to each other. And I don't actually know what these are in English. So it, it can be a bit confusing. But gen generally speaking, the, the stories themselves are quite simple. And there isn't very much overlap between different characters. So we meet this mechanic. We've got to go and fix up the car because we've also inherited the, the, uh, the, the old family car. Now this car is not in very good condition. When I say it's not in very good condition, I mean it's... It needs all of these repairs, just to get it actually roadworthy. And the, the general idea of the game is you're supposed to drive across Guangdong and uh, make sure you're maintaining your speed. Make sure you're maintaining your car's integrity. Just generally, drive steady. Make make sure you look after your car. Repair stuff when it breaks. All that all that good stuff. And that would make an interesting game if we were to actually uh, do that. But this is a speed run, and we don't do that in the speed run at all. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down the accelerator to go at full speed. And we can watch as the engine coolant light, that's that red, that's the one that's just lit up, as uh, it's glowing red hot because the car cannot take it. Let's uh, go to this scrapyard and we're going to. No, we're not going to scrap that. We're going to steal a whole load of stuff and then we're going to say, our car's broken down. And in fairness, it's pretty close to breaking down because when when your uh, when your oil heats up, 
you burn through petrol very quickly, you damage all of your components very quickly, and uh, yeah, it ain't good long term. But luckily, we're not thinking long term. So we're going to sell our oil can and sell our petrol, because we don't need that. We just need the money. And then we're going to sell as many parts as we can. That'll do. And then we're going to leave. So having make, made sure we're, we're fully fueled up, fully oiled up, make sure everything's working. What's the first thing we do when we get out of the garage? Can you guess? That's right. We say we've broken down. And uh, you're going to be seeing this a lot. This is basically the entire run. And the reason we do this is every time we say we've broken down, we get towed to the next garage along. Uh, it costs us 75 uh, money. There's, there's no currency in this game for whatever reason. And uh, then we sell stuff that we find at scrapyards. Bam for all the dialogue. And you'll notice that despite doing basically no driving at all, we have already reached our first destination. We've got zero. Again, there's, there's no unit on the distance, it's just zero. Left to travel to, to Dong Guan. Unfortunately, we can't, uh, we can't be towed right to the doorstep. We do have to drive this short distance. Let's see if I can actually get around this corner, because it is a bit of a tight corner. And then we park to enter the letter. So in between these driving sections, we have some story sections. I've just realised that my splits were in the wrong order, that does not matter. <laughs> so, here we have some relatives. And it's this guy, David Song, has received a letter from America. And when we read it, and we find out that it's actually from his birth parents. And he's adopted. So we talk to uh, talk to his immediate family, ask him how much he knows about the fact he's adopted, and uh, ask for advice. Should we tell him the truth? Yeah. And then we go outside. We go onto the roof where we can find him. Ask him some questions. And we have to tell him the truth. Because this is the 100% category. Which means we are actually doing all the, all the correct things. So, uh, naturally, he's, uh, he's a bit gutted about finding out he's adopted. We're going to tell him that despite the fact that he is adopted, his family is still consider him family. And also, they, they're happy to pay for him to travel to America, so he's happy. And then finally, we invite him to our reunion dinner. And that's one down. Easy peasy. Then so we travel to our next area, which is Big Sister which is Shenzhen. Again, we're actually going to do some driving. Now we can take a taxi straight to where we want to go, but we can't afford to take taxis all the time without doing any driving, unfortunately. So when, when it's in our best interest too, we will drive at full speed again, burning the oil, you can see the, the engine light flashing, and uh, if you watch the fuel gauge, which is just to the left, you know, even the, even Grace is complaining about the coolant light being on, you can watch the fuel gauge empty in real time. It's great. Think about how much all of that fuel costs. <laughs> but that's fine. 
Let's hopefully, hopefully we can actually make it to the scrapyard. Here it is. So we're going to come here, and we're going to take everything, including the engines. And then say we've broken down. This is the gameplay loop for the speedrun. Think about fuel price without getting political. Yeah, exactly. Just, just a general, just a general thing. And uh, so, of course, we've gotten here. We need to refuel and replace our oil, and then sell everything we got from the scrapyard. There it goes, and then leave. Bear in mind, this, this game is supposed to be about three hours of driving. Um, I think I worked out in total we do about three minutes of driving. Also, oh, we're just gonna, we're not even gonna drive, we're just gonna say we've broken down. Again, every time we say we've broken down, we get towed to the next garage. No one asks, no one cares about the fact that we are currently in a garage. And they're like, nope, we'll just tow you to the next one. Okay, so we've we've gotten we've gotten a few a few units closer. We're not close enough yet, so we're just gonna say we've broken down again. The good news is, it doesn't cost us any fuel to break down. So we're gonna leave, and we find at this point we are. We're at the destination, we're at Shenzhen. That was a really quick drive, that took us about three minutes to get halfway across China. So we have we do have to drive this section. Now this this road is actually a fair bit longer than I think this I think this is the longest drive we actually do. And uh, it's got some tight corners. So we do have to use brakes. This is as close as we get to some actual driving. Oh. I'll scrape across the fence, that's fine. Can we go on two wheels? Uh, not quite. There's like nothing like China. It's, uh, it's a very heavily stylized version. What can I say? So we're visiting, fa no, leave the car. We're visiting family here, and most important here is Loy Loy, the little kid, who is Sonny's cousin. Uh, go back, move, farm. Now, of course, these people, these folks own a farm, and we're expected to help out. So we're finding Loy Loy, who is the cousin, and uh, we're going to help her prepare a chicken meal. Now, of course, being farmers, they kind of want to use fresh chickens. So, we're going to ask Loy Loy to tell us about how to do it. And she's going to tell us to choose a chicken. But she won't tell us which chicken we need. And the reason she won't tell us is because she's uh, kind of fond of the chicken we have to use. Uh, how do I farm? So we need to, to talk to her parents and try to convince them. Unfortunately, they're not going to listen. They are very stubborn. Uh, I need to go to the kitchen and then to the clothesline. There we go. Talk to her other parents. Uh, other parents. Otherwise known as a father. Um, he doesn't listen either, so we go back to the chicken coop. We talk to her, ask the little 
and she says we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide our favourite chicken. We're gonna do it in the kitchen. In the cupboard. And then we're gonna choose a different different chicken. She's really stubborn about which chicken we choose. Have a nice, nice uh, description description about how to kill and cook a chicken. Uh, you might want to not pay any attention to that. And then we're going to prepare the chicken. Set fire to the kitchen in the meantime because uh, we're skipping all of the cutscenes, and that's what happens when you skip the cutscenes. Uh, and then her parents realise that this is not the chicken they asked us to cook. But we tried telling her. We tried telling them. And uh, eventually they forgive us because we say that we were doing what was best by Loi Loi. All that stuff. We invite them to the to the reunion. We say goodbye. We get this uh, nice bracelet. Refuse to elaborate and leave. Next up, we're going dog sitting. So here's the dog. We're gonna go see a dog. So, uh, chickens or dogs? Oh, and I've, I've almost turned the car over. What's happened? Screw it. This is not how this is not how it's supposed to go. Something's wrong. Stop. Why won't it? I can't even go for, go for help. Go for help. How do I? Turn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. That was, uh, that was weird, but it's fine. That's what, that's what the recovery is there for. Are, are we, are we not getting game audio? Okay. Fine, you're not missing much. So yeah, we're gonna recover a few times, and then we need to uh, go and find some more. Probably have. Would I would I be able to swap mic to my stream? I can do that. Is that something that would be helpful? Okay, I will, uh... I will do that next loading screen. It's not too far away. I should just car out wait. Everything. If that helps. Right, microphone on my stream. So let me know how this is.
on my stream. So let me know how this is. So we've just picked up a whole load of stuff and we need to do our usual procedure of refilling the petrol and oil and selling the parts. Sell everything. Leave. It was, a, it was in my way, and why would I slow down? Final uh, sell parts, we want to sell these two, and then leave. And we are very low on money. That's, uh, that's quite scary. I was hoping I'd have a bit more money than that. Uh, no, we do not want to get recovery just yet. We need to pick up more stuff. Yeah, sometimes we do actually go for two scrapyards. Sell everything except the oil filter. Do I have enough money to get to the next place? Or oh, I'm, I'm still low on money. Okay, we're gonna have to make an extra stop to get some more scrap. I've clearly done something wrong here, but it's fine. Before we do that, we're gonna leave. And we're going to replace this oil filter here. Look at that, we're actually doing some car repair. Normally you'd see lots of that, and it would be... Gumar complaining about the good old days. 
doesn't matter. Scrap pile. Take everything. Recover. We are low on money, but we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I've only got 60 left. I'm gonna refuel our fuel. Take our parts. Again, with, wait, you're supposed to see these. Uh, we don't. Need, we don't need fuel. What else do we fuel? You're supposed to see these parts as things to replace on your car, and so the things in better condition you want to keep. All we're doing is is finding stuff and selling it. We are all in it for, in it purely for the money. And if we drive down here, we'll find we've already reached our destination. Here we are, dog sitting. So we again we've we've met some relatives. The first thing we're going to do is invite them to our... Come on, go to the house. We're going to invite them to our party. So we're gonna have a quick chat to everyone. Puma and tell the dog to stay and let's let's give the dog a stroke. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna leave. We need to get some noodles. No, no, we need to leave. Go to the food stores. Get some noodles. There we are. Get the noodles. We go back into. The dog. Take the dog with us. Go to the food stalls. Talk to this guy. We can get some desserts. Go back to the house. Give her the desserts. Tell the doctor to stay so we can talk to. No, don't go back to the living room. <laughs> food stalls, please. And then we're going to talk to these two guys selling food. Because uh, Guma wants to know the recipe for the noodles. What's going on? And basically, one of them is accused, the other one of stealing. And uh, it turns out that he just he just missed it. 
just mislaid his money. I'm going to ask him to apologise. Turns out he's still hiding something. Okay, have a nice, nice chat, nice hug it out, all that kind of stuff, all that fun stuff. And then we're going to get the recipe. There's the recipe. We need to talk to him. And talk to him. Back to the house. Living room. Leave. Also, they will give us a frozen chicken. F fun fact about the frozen chicken: if you do this this uh, part of the game before you do the big sister part, where you have to cook, kill the chicken, you can offer to substitute the frozen chicken instead. But I don't think... Because this scrapyard should have an engine in it. Yes it does, good, okay. Okay, I was, I was scared for a second there. <laughs> I misread the amount of money I had. No, we're good. So we should have enough money. So we're going to, once again, refuel. Take our parts. Now the engine we got from the scrapyard here is worth 230 of our precious units. more than enough we need to beat the entire rest of the game. So from here on out, we're not going to do any driving. Each, uh, each journey. So you, again, you're going to be seeing this screen even more often than you have been so far. I think 25% of this game is, is... And 5% of it is driving. But yeah, that's, that's, that's how most of my speed games go. I don't play a game for the gameplay, I play a game for the mashing. So after we've taken on the world's most expensive taxi. We're going to end up straight at... Start our engine, drive the final, okay, hit hit the wall, drive, have I just wrecked the tyre or something? <laughs> I think the car is wrecked, 
It's fine. It'll take us where it'll take us as far as we need to go. We don't need to do very much driving. So you can see our dog in the car. So now we have our uncle who runs the Kung Fu school and he's upset because his pupils, his students aren't paying attention to him, aren't doing what they should do. Your typical I'm going to suggest that that guy should be the leader. She's angry, she's undisciplined, she needs some discipline. And he's bored. Then we talk to the... That, uh, that thing in his hands, that is supposed to be a, a steaming cup of tea. It really does not look like it though, because of the art style. <laughs> So basically, we talk to the master, he approves of us trying to make... Is this Young, the leader? Yeah. You can say, yeah, he can, he can bring discipline, he can bring creativity. We're going to train together. And normally what you'd get is a nice nice set of uh, slightly awkward Tai Chi. But we're going to skip through it because it goes on for a long time if we don't skip it. I'm going to show gratitude to the master. Ask the two guys for their thoughts. Say that we need a balance between discipline and creativity. And it turns out the master is actually going to adopt the leader kid. We're also going to take his new adopted son. We get a bonus. Is it complete? The dog's still barking in the background. We've only got one area left to go. And that's back where we started with the associates. Uh, we don't need to. I almost went to do a bit of driving there. We don't need to go driving. We've got money. And it is expensive. But luckily when you can sell things you find on the side of the road, it's uh, <laughs> it's quite a small cost. Does Jim just want to cut? Yeah, so the, the music actually does come from the car radio. Or unless you're talking about the dog, the dog is also coming from the game. Uh, I think I need to recover again. I wasn't paying attention. Yep, and we've made it back home. 
and we haven't done a single bit of driving. But we do need to drive these last, these last tiny bit. There's the keys. There's the keys. And get round this corner. Come on. There we go. And we're home. So that's it. There. We are not going to see the. Car. Well, we actually we are going to see the car again, but it's only going to be. And uh, he's she's kind of squirming around about who she who he actually is. He, she just says he's an old friend, and he also tries to dodge the question as well. And we eventually. Uh, come on, talk to him. We eventually get out of him that uh, they're actually see been seeing each other for a while. So he's not just an associate; he's a he's a lover. I'm in for for a while and talk to her first. Through it. There. We're going to pretend we don't know about it, and we're going to get her to talk talk to us about it as well. And then she confesses that yes, he is her boyfriend. That's all good. Uh, no, we want to go to the apartment. Talk to Go on, let's go. There you go, have a nice chat, and he's going to decide to actually propose to her. And then he's going to give us a recipe. And he's going to attend our reunion meal. Yeah, no, no problem, T Sigma. So normally what we'd have to do then is we'd have So we don't need to do any driving at all. I mean, even less than we do without <laughs> normally when travelling between places. So now, the the matriarch of the family is uh, coming to visit, and they're both worried about meeting her because she doesn't know about the relationship. Or she's only just found out. You get a nice long chat. We find out that Grace's favourite meal is duck confit. To get it cooked for her. So wait for them to leave. We ask for instructions on how to how to do it. We go 
to the kitchen. You put the duck in the oven. You check the duck, it's not cooked yet. You go back. Oh, and they're already back. And uh, we, we, we can't hide it. We're cooking duck confit. Because uh, the old lady wants to surprise her. So we take it and we find out everything's already been prepared. It turns out Grace has done it for us. Uh, double happiness. Invite her to the wedding, not the wedding, the reunion meal. As that visit complete, and uh, scraping through on the estimate here, we're going to be slightly over, but it's fine. Because here we have the meal, the dogs there, everything's did it. We got to cook for everyone. Everyone's done. Had a good meal. See you all next week, next year, and that is done. That is the game done. We uh, managed to recruit all 11 people to our reunion dinner. Had the reunion dinner. And here are the credits. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, Let's see if we can get her to say an interesting line. No. She's got one about a game. No, I don't care about the nightmare. Don't care about Graham. Yeah, it's only a game. It's only a game. So yeah, thanks for watching. Six seconds over estimate. What do I do now? <laughs>